kind of left leg forward. I'm just going to look at kind of that position for a little bit. So this time, everybody make Kizamazuki. And I really want you to kind of get this shape and grade. So it's not kind of locked out. Hips are horizontal, vertical spine. Sorry, yeah, vertical spine, horizontal hips. Kind of make sure that you're not sticking your bum out either way. Uh, but make sure you're sitting down on that back leg. Okay, make Kizamazuki. So then from that point, really, like this driving in thing. Use that leg, use that hip. Drive in, but then cut back to Kizamazuki. So that cut back. So drive, cut back to Kizamazuki. Don't make it about, don't make it about kind of just tearing your upper body. Really try to cut your hip. So it's all about your hip and your upper body's kind of following. You understand? So you're really, you're really having that sense of cutting your hip back without that back knee sticking out, kind of in a thigh muscle squeeze, but kind of creating that compression without leaning back, keeping back that back straight. You understand? Yeah, timing just in here, yeah? hip and hand timing. You're, you're kind of, you're, you're practicing initiating the hip whilst keeping the hand still. If you're ever going to just practice this, you've got to practice both, both at the same time. Don't practice this because it teaches you this connection between your hip rotation and your hand movement. So when you do actually start to punch, then you'll rotate and then punch. Always same time, same time, arm in finger. Then, then from here, always just drive forward because that was a itch. And then retreat back knee. San, she, go, rook. And the guys, the one thing that I really want you to think about is that you don't, like from this position, like you're, like if you look at my back, my leg, okay, this back leg is really bent. Okay, when you drive forward, I don't want you to straighten it. I don't want you to kind of have this kind of full stretch. What I want is you to still be able to drive, but still land in that like, good back stance where that back leg is still primed. And if you wanted to, you could easily drive forward for Gakazuki. So the same position that you, you made as you came back, you're now making that same position, but driving forward into that position. Understand? Which is anti, what I always do is kind of think about rotating your hip. Rotating your hip, you're going to use your leg and just make Kizamasuki and then come back. So, so you go from Shizentai, you're going to drive that hip in, use your leg, of course, punch directly straight. Directly straight, then relax back. So it's kind of like a defensive Kizamasuki. Okay, so let's try left leg first. Left leg punch. And then back. Then right leg knee. And back. Okay. So this time, I always do is kind of a little bit more forward. You got like that weight's in the middle. Now you can use your back leg a little bit more. This Kizamazuki come back. And then from here, you're going to step and change. So drive. Drive Kizamazuki round. Then step change. This one, two, three. One, two, three. A couple of things like don't don't lean don't let your shoulder like it's still that rotation but what i'm trying to get you to do is is like like we did in that kind of basic drill where you're kind of rotating your hip to create that movement but that back leg is still kind of uh got some uh, well got a lot of kind of ability to drive it to show me so it's still a lot better so i don't want you to kind of go to fully extension extension it's much more of a defensive defensive drill someone comes in and you just punch him and defensively gain out of the way so it's much more about the hip rotation so I don't want you to lean. I certainly don't want you to kind of straighten that back leg. Okay, don't, don't, don't straighten that back leg to produce the Kazamazuki. Only rotate, because it's only rotation really. Boom, you know, it's gonna pull you off to the side slightly after you finish. Next one, guys, I wanna kind of look at the subtlety of, of like different, different kind of hip position and also different kind of uh, leg use. So, so this one, this kind of technique that we can kind of think that we've just done, characterize it by a lot of hip rotation like, so you're kind of in Mahamni to produce this Kizamazuki, yeah? And your back leg is quite a lot bent. Next one, I want you to think about how you would, what we're going to do from this relaxed position, we're going to make Kizamazuki, and then we're going to do Gakazuki. So, so from this point, we're going to go one, two, step back. One, two, step back. Okay, then what, what's important is that, I think, what I really want you to kind of work on is like, we're going from Jukamaki. Then before, like the first one, we kind of had this full hip rotation as we rotated round. And it's really working our hip. And really the movement is based on just that hip rotation. So come round and offline. This one, we're rotating our hip, but not as much, but also we're driving our leg, but not fully locked out. Because if it's fully locked out, we've got nothing else. We then, we can, then can't do uh, Gakazuki. So I want you to kind of feel like you're straightening your leg, but it's instantly going to kind of uh, retract again. Straightening, not straightening, 
Spacing is very different from locked out. You don't want it to be locked out, but you want it to still have a little bit of push there. So from this point, you're much more kind of pushing that leg. At the same time, use your hip a little bit. You're not going to stay in this shizen. You're going to a little bit rotate. Rotate feeling, and then from here, you've got the power for the gakuzu. And there's a very small difference between your hip position and leg use for the first one, and your hip position and your leg use for the second one. You're incrementally using your leg more and your hip less. We're only a little bit more, but you've got to give yourself that ability to kind of micro adjust your stance and also your hip movements. It can't just always be set. It has to be a kind of little bit more uh, nuanced. Okay, understand? Okay, next one. Okay, next one, guys. All we should do is think, is think that you're only going to do Kazamazuki. Like you're in a competition, back leg drive, boom, in Kazamazuki, you're going. So all you're doing is, like, don't worry so much about your hip. You're in Shizen, natural position. You're going to maintain that position, but that leg is going to give out everything. You've got nothing else. You're not doing anything else apart from that big drive. Only back leg. Only back leg, driving in and then relaxing. Only back leg, driving and then relaxing. Understand? That's all. Don't worry about your hip. You get all your power from your back leg to drive that body mass forward. Yeah. Okay, so, so listen, guys. Three Kizamazuki. Well, the Kizamazuki is the same, yeah? Like, the Kizamazuki, this jab punch in relation to your stance, right leg forward, right hand punch, left leg forward, left hand punch, you're kind of in harmony. It's Kizamazuki. But the way that you get in there is a little bit different. So the first one, always oh, thinking only hip, hip and round. And then you're coming back. Only hip, hip and round. And then you're coming back. Next time, a little bit hip, a little bit leg, bom, bom, and then coming back. Dom, dom, coming back. Third one, just in feeling. Coming back, then just in feeling. And coming back. First one, hip. Second one, hip and leg. Third one, leg only. Got it?